Okay, what do we got over here? Oh, there's the level four passcode. Okay, card four. Got it. Find this access was the card access four. This card I needed to reach the rooftop. Now I just had to check if there were any helicopters up there. Bullets should be called gun food. You know, with like a different script, like this game, like if, let's say you had a different script and this game was like a serious game, you could very easily turn this into like a real game with like a serious script and shit. <laughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't even be that like, it wouldn't even be that like rough or anything. All right, let's see what this says. I need. Oh my God, what the fuck is this shit? Uh, are we gonna have to cut a bomb? Cut the wires on a bomb? All right, well, I guess we'll keep that around. Fuck. Colors, yeah. I know, I mean, the sense of humor definitely goes a long way in this game for sure, but. We got some more files, but. Uh... The fifth document was a shopping list. A collection of military vehicles they bought from the Soviet Union when it collapsed. Trucks, tanks, armored vehicles, helicopters, and nuclear submarines. Submarines like the one that attacked me. Now they have one less. The fourth document was the logbook of a mini rescue submarine. It mentioned its last mission, a successful rescue operation from a week ago. The target was a sinking submarine. The K-278 Consomolets, suffering from an onboard fire in the Barents Sea. Apparently, two nuclear torpedoes were salvaged during the job. The warheads involved in Operation Jericho. The third file of Operation Jericho was quite revealing. It had a map of the Kantor province with exact You know what's one of my favorite parts of Kojima movies? Or like plan. Kojima movies, and Kojima games. The colonel with his is when he has it. those cutscene sequences. Apparently their plan was to kidnap the colonel without leaving a trace. And it's like the real life footage the is in there. file of Operation in Kojima's Jericho games. was a compendium I love of that shit. numbers. Yeah, it also yeah. also had a map, so those numbers could be... I know, I was right. The coordinates movies of the know. Or potentially the attack targets themselves. The first file was about an attack plan. Mm -hmm. Its code name was Operation Jericho. I couldn't find many details because it was encoded, but anyone could understand a chart about casualties. Yeah, the, I guess when you read the files, the it gives you everything. The yeah, the the cutscenes in like Metal Gear Solid Two and Three or whatever, when like a character is narrating, and they show you like the real life footage spliced with the video game footage and stuff and it blends it together. I always find those really fun. Yeah, with the stock war footage, the archive. Yeah, yeah, the archival footage stuff. I, I don't know why, but I always, I always find that really cool. Like it's really well done. All right, so that guard's not moving. Got a coin. Hey, a coin. <laughs> Got him. Okay, found a grenade. When Kojima gets it right, he really fucking nails it. Oh, shit. Did they just throw a coin for me? <laughs> hey, a coin. Bro. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, a coin. Hey, a coin. What I'm thinking here is Bates. right. This is insane. Baited on a free coin. Look at this photograph. Uh, what do we got? Obtain Robert's photographs. <sighs> is there anything? So, like, is there some way to do this? There's got to be some way to do this, right? Hang on. So they just gave me grenades here. How many? I have, uh, I have six med packs. Hey, a coin. Ah! <laughs> 
So like, they make you, when you do this, they make you get shot. Like you have to get shot. Like I can't avoid that. Sunglasses or eye patch? I don't think, I don't have the eye patch anymore. Hey, a coin. Hmm? Can you coin their coin? Hang on, I have, I have another, I have, we can just go ahead and use another porto potty, right? Here. Save right outside of here. There's gotta be a way to do this, right? <laughs> hey, a coin. I can't do it. I can't do it, man. Raise them a coin for a coin. I can't do it. Is there something else I could use? Hmm. Shoot him. What if I, um... Hey, a coin. Somewhere there, that's where it always gets me, right there. Hey. Photographs. Okay. I found some photos on a desk. I had a look at them because, you know, I was born curious. Curious? Don't you mean nosy? They were shots of some guys loading something big onto trucks. Something that looked like concrete blocks. Fuck. These were the photos Robert was taking just before he was captured. Okay. These guys got nada. All right, so I used three med packs to save these guys' lives. <laughs> what a fucking waste. <laughs> what a goddamn waste. Uh, I guess let's go get the other file, too. You like the story in a story? Is this the Marvels game? Yeah, this is the most recent Marvels choice. Yes, this is it. Did I not, uh, was the files in here? Oh, that's, okay. We needed this, too, I guess. Okay. It's kind of the least you can do. Yeah, this game's been super fun. It's been very fun. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's the files. Why not just kill? You're not allowed. You're, you're not uh, allowed to kill anybody. The main character says, I'm not an assassin. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's go save. Is there a second unmetal? I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, game save. We also emptied my potties. Mm, can I say anything to the doctor? Okay, so we're heading to the fourth floor, right? Is that where we're going? What does it say? Uh, reach the heliport at the rooftop. Okay, up we go. Yeah, yeah, I turn, we turn on the smoke alert voice pack. We turn that on. Uh, we haven't heard his voice in a while, floor. though. There were guards keeping watch on the whole level. But these were not your run-of-the-mill guards. They were Japanese mercenaries. Were they also tougher than normal guards? No way. On the contrary, they were weaker. One punch and down they went. But these Japanese mercs were damn perceptive due to special training they received. Their unique awareness was twice that of a normal guard, an mm. angle of 180 degrees. Getting close to them unnoticed was impossible if you weren't behind their back. I like that they have the the Sashimono banners behind them. That's really funny. Uh, Sammy G, thanks for the 11 months. Yeti, thank you for the 34 months. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh God. You are so screwed. I know the flag. <laughs> so like, no matter what, this guy is gonna, this guy's gonna see me, right? Uh, I have a coin. Can I use the coin for this one? Hey, a coin. It's kind of a shame he doesn't say, he doesn't speak in Japanese. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny. Subscription. Hey, a coin. Huh? 
I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit disappointed he didn't say that in Japanese. Nani? Not Kaneda. <laughs> Level up. Uh, Buji Power, thank you for the 26 months. Thank you very much. Increases your maximum ammo. So we can either have 40 more bullets, two plus grenades, or plus one rocket. We can have plus eight grenades, plus four rockets. Let's take the uh, heavy munitions. Take that one. What was the purpose of the Sashimono flags? Well, if you're thinking about a medieval battle, right? Or like uh, an ancient battle, you need a, pro uh, a way to find out who is on what side very quickly, right? Like you need to know. The same way we have like uniforms and colors and stuff like that. So uh, having gigantic banners in a battle or having one on your back lets people know which side you're on, right? So uh, very, very crucial. You could also have like, there's lots of other signals and ways you could tell who was on what side, but having a banner on your back is a pretty easy way to tell, so. Same. That coin was nowhere else, nowhere close there. They're gonna wake up. They want to use that for subterfuge in a battle? Oh, pff, maybe. OP banner brag. Hey, a coin. Dude, we took out a lot of we took out a lot of guards. These guys die real quick. Okay. Yeah, we got completely swarmed on that one. Oh bullshit. <laughs> Base, area is clear. Returning to my position. Returning to my position. A huge uh i had a huge pile of guards right there killing spree i know i know For some reason grabbing that guy is pretty tough hmm? some hitman level guards stacking there yeah once in a while in Hitman, you would have a room where you had like 700 people. You just kept piling the bodies. <laughs> oh, I can't use the portal. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Let's go with the heavy. Can I pee? Yes. Okay. Game saved. Might be a golden eye when you get the guards all piled up. How long has it been since I played Hitman? I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Hitman in general. Oh, I'm glad we just saved. I'm not like a huge fan of the game. I feel like it's really slow and even when you succeed, it doesn't feel particularly rewarding. Like it's funny. It has some funny moments, but I just find the game really boring and slow, honestly. Uh, Brad Brown, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you, Brad Brown. Hey, a coin. I'll take that. Novelty wears off makes for good clips. Yeah, I mean, we definitely had some funny moments in Hitman. It's just not my favorite game. And also, like, I feel like it's weird how you have to constantly, like, save state 
in Hitman, because it's like, okay, let me save my game. Like, and if you don't save, you have to go back all the way to the start. It's kind of weird like that. Fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> Position. <sighs> he blind beat Dark Souls 1 almost done with Bloodborne since my last sub. Loving Bloodborne. Awesome, dude. Glad you're enjoying it. The game has definitely ramped up in difficulty for sure. Heard something. Hey, a coin. Hey, a coin. Okay. Let's make sure we're using our porto potties here. There we go. Make sure we save. I don't think I enjoyed this game as much as you didn't think you'd enjoy this game as much as you are. First aid. Uh a lot of bullets here. A whole lot of bullets. Uh, Brainstorm, thank you for the 32 months. Lote of the Rings, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Tima Seal, thank you for the 29 months. Thank you guys very much. Holy crap. Shit. Nice, guys. Uh... Oh, shit. So that's the game wanting me to kind of use binoculars over here. Yikes. Okay, you can save in here, I think. Nice. Okay. Uh, Ripmeister, thank you for the seven months. A thank you, Ripmeister. Strike. Uh, Pollux, thank you for the 27 months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that, guys. Welcome back. Thank you for all the subs. Hope you guys have been enjoying the Unmetal. Uh, it's been a ton of fun. Been an absolute ton of fun. I don't want you guys thinking, though, that, like, uh, fuck you. God, fuck you, shit. That guy, he was turned around, I had him, and then he turned right back around. You guys are more than welcome to choose whatever you want for a Marvels game. Like, don't think like you have to choose something that I'm going to like. Choose whatever you want, but uh, I'm, I'm only gonna, I'm gonna like what I'm gonna like, and I'm gonna dislike what I'm gonna dislike. You know, that's just how it's gonna be. This just happens to be one of those times where the audience chose a game that I would, that I would actually like, so. Uh, a PlayStation 3 title would be, for getting even, it would just be really hard to stream. Not sure how I would do it. Yep. Hey, a coin. Man. He's gonna turn. He's gonna turn. Gift sub. Ho, 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 almost. Uh, Anonymous, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you very much. Thought he was about to turn there. Take my coin back. Guess we can save again. Uh, OOC, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you, OOC. Uh, thank you very much. Really appreciate the 18 months, dude. Hey, a coin. This feels like the first time in the game where it's been, uh, like I felt like I really had to use coins. Like, if I didn't use coins, it would be so much harder. We choose Bro Force. Have I played the South Park games? No, I'm really not interested in them. Like, I'm going to be honest, I'm super, super not interested in them. Another pay to win game? What does that mean? Other oh, coin? Hmm. Let's see, what's over this way? You're the man. Well, uh, what's up, Anamusha? How are you? That's a game I'd like to play someday, Anamusha. 
I've heard good things about it. It's on my someday list. Okay, so we got a guy here. I'm gonna wait for him to turn around and grab him. Yeah, we got him. What's up, uh, Oscar? How are you? Oh, this guy's way over here now. Okay. He's probably coming back down, I would imagine. Hey, a coin. When's the next Deathless run? I haven't really felt too motivated to go load up Elden Ring after my last Deathless run died. <laughs> I really felt uh, super motivated. Oh man, how the hell are we gonna get past this shit? All right, look at these guys. That guy on the right's not moving at all. And this guy is right there. I think no matter what, no matter what, we're gonna have to do something. All right, what if we just run in and shoot them both? Hmm. Let me go uh, use my porto potty here. <laughs> what? Come on, they died so fast. <laughs> How did they get the alert off? Bro, we killed, we shot them so fast. Oh, well. All right, let's try going down here instead. You see, there's nothing this way. What if you don't heal them? If you don't heal them, you uh, you fail. You you can't kill anybody. You have to heal them up. Not sure how we're gonna get those guys. Oh, uh, they might die in one slingshot. They might die from that. I'm not sure. Can we make hey a coin, a sub alert sound? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean for a, a bits alert, that wouldn't be bad. I'd do it. Okay, let's go down. What the fuck is this? If you're the boss of those assholes, now that they couldn't take two punches. You insult Japanese culture. You die by my katana. Really? I'm going to show you what I think about your damn karate. Takuma Takagashi. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Fuck you, game. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Von Rothe, thank you for the 41 months. Chick Canyon, thank you for the 51 months. If you're the boss of those assholes, now that they couldn't take two punches. You insult Japanese culture. You die by my katana. Really? I'm going to show you what I think about your dick karate. Punch him. Ow, man. Ow. Let's try punching him. Let's try. Let's try punching. I don't think that's gonna work. It'd be imagine if he also died in one punch. You're already dead. Throw a coin at him. I don't think that's gonna work. Hey, I, I've try, I'm trying to roll. <laughs> okay. I don't think uh, I don't think punching is the answer. I don't think that's it. I don't think he got me either. All right. Oh, we almost had him. We almost had him. Parry him. So you have to pick up the challenge. I think the challenges are meant for like a second playthrough or like a new game plus kind of thing. I think that's what they're like intended for. Grenade. Uh, I think hitting him with a grenade would be super tough. 
subscription. All right, what does it say? Defeat Takuma Takagashi without letting him heal himself. Is he countering the gunshots? Is that what he's doing? It seems like I keep trying to roll and I keep like missing. Hmm. Like he's countering the gunshots. Uh, Jay Lang, thank you for the resub. Jan Kapum, thank you for the 16 months. Thank you very much. Dragon. Bro, he just goes the whole distance? Alright, hang on. <laughs> wow. Man, I don't I'm not sure I get it. I'm not sure I get it. He's he's kinda whooping my ass. I'm not sure I get it. He's whooping my ass. You lost with a gun. The guy disappears and appears in front of you. I think maybe you gotta wait until he does the fan attack or something. I mean, we're gonna, maybe we're getting closer here. I, I'm not sure. Maybe we're getting closer. <laughs> Seems like a little closer, I guess. Plug the controller into the second player. Combat to fight you has been great honor. Sayonara. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Boss defeated. What a fucking stupid. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Dance of the blade and gun. Boss defeated. Uh, 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 I want, I want, how get? How do I get that? Can't get. Okay, never mind. Can I roll? No roll. Okay, I guess we're not getting hey, that. Hey, Mike. Fuck, you scared me. Mike? Yeah, it's me. I heard about how you kicked Marcuson's ass. Son of a bitch, he deserved it. What are you doing here, Mike? Well, after I finished repairing those lasers, they decided I had to come here fix more stuff. Wasn't it your night off? Yep, just another night working for a bunch of damn extortionists. What brings you here, Mike? Need some help? Nah, I'm going to the rooftop. Almost there. Just take an elevator up a floor. I know, I was just exploring a little. Anyway, if you need any help, come see me. I'll be around. Thanks, Mike. See you later. Yep. Toodaloo. 
What a useless interaction. Fuck! What is this? Uh, there's a door I can't open here? Shit, man. Hmm. Don't punch Mike. Apparently there's a key card I don't have or something. Okay, maybe it was back, uh, maybe it was back this way. Let's see. This can go here. Maybe I missed it over here. All right, let me see. Let me, uh, take a look. Or sleeping guards. Okay, these are the guards I had before. Can you throw a coin? He can. I almost fucked that up. <laughs> I very nearly fucked that up. Mike is like the mechanic in Borderlands 1 and 2. Nope. Nope. No, sir. Take that, too. Uh, okay. So that's just a big circle around. Well, okay. Well, we got these guys. Uh, so I must be missing something. Maybe I can call somebody on the radio. I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure what to do right now. Hmm. Must have missed something. That's so cool. Yeah, I don't know what I missed. I like the little, uh, I like the little dojo. <laughs> the little dojo is funny. Yeah, I don't think you can, uh, you can do anything here, right? It wasn't wise to use weapons there. No, you can't shoot. Uh, can't use bolt cutters. Uh, no, I don't think you can use any of these. It wasn't yeah, wise you can't to use, use any of these. weapons uh, do I have... I don't think I have a map either, do I? Yeah, I don't think I have a map either. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I guess let's double back. Let's go see if we missed something somewhere. Must have missed something. He puts people to sleep like Batman. Well, I mean, Batman is definitely breaking people's bones and shit, right? Like, absolutely. He probably caused a lot of, uh, accidental death too, doesn't he? With, like... Car crashes and shit. Can't you? You can. Can't you die? Like, let's say you get your elbow like broken out, like like backwards, right? Like Batman does that too. He breaks your arm backwards. Couldn't you theoretically die from something like that if you didn't get the right medical attention? Like that's not like, oh, you'll be fine. Like you could theoretically just fucking die from that, right? Like, especially if you're like a thug with no health care and you'll get arrested. Like if you're like on the street, right? Yeah, yeah, you could just very easily die from that, too. Uh, do we? Maybe we missed something over here. These are all bullets. Hmm. He pays for their health care. Am I excited for Gotham Knights? No, I don't know anything about it. The Batman games are dead to me. They're dead to me. What was the point of this? Wait, what was the point of this floor? Four, okay. I finally went out to the rooftop. As I stepped out, I observed details that would be missed by mere amateurs. But to a trained eye like mine, nothing ever goes unnoticed. First off, there was a communication antenna to my right. Right? You mean on the left? I was looking south, so your left is my right. Of course. Continue. Another key detail. There were four guards. And they were smoking. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who we have here. Hands up. You have no fucking idea who I am, do you? Who the hell are you, scumbag? I'm the man who's going to shove my boot in your asses so deep that you'll all be shitting leather for a month. I'm the fucking work inspector. Military internal affairs. What? So, how the fuck is it possible that a goddamn gentleman like me, dressed as a mere civilian, 
really strolled around the whole fucking building. I'll tell you how. Because some inept guards decided that instead of being at their posts, they slithered up to the rooftop to hide, smoke, and spew scum. It's our five minutes off, sir. Are you kidding me, soldier? No, sir. What's your name, scumbag? Mike, sir. Listen to me carefully, scumbag Mike. I've been sent by the general himself. He is pissed off with all the soldiers in this building, and I have his permission to ensure each one of you are pissed on. I just have to make a little fucking check mark, and your precious fucking leave is a never-ending hell of cleaning latrines and wiping piss. So, don't piss me off. Do I make myself clear, scumbag Mike? C -c Crystal clear, sir. Chatting here, blah, blah, blah. Gossiping like schoolgirls. You disgust me. Fuck. Imagine if I was a spy or a prisoner who managed to obtain critical information and I was pretending to be a work inspector in order to steal a helicopter and escape. What do you think would happen, scumbag Mike? Sir, it would be a non-authorized takeoff and it would be shot down by the surface-to-air missiles. And do you think he couldn't avoid it? Only if uh, Supreme Bald Guy, I think over the 30 months. I see. And how would he do that? <laughs> Sir, disabling the communication antenna that communicates with all surface-to-air missile batteries. And then he just gets away. What kind of shitty security is that? That's it. This is all going into my report. Heads are going to roll. Please, sir, don't rescind our leave. We have children waiting for us. Fuck. G code, thanks children, for the 30 months. And you're smoking? You call yourself a father <laughs> scumbag, Mike? I have good reason to keep you from your kids. B no, Gentry, please. thank you for the seven I'll months. Give up smoking. I swear to God. Swear to me. I swear. I swear. I'm magnanimous. I will turn a blind eye to this indecency. But the day you hold another cigarette will be your last. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Take a look at this floor. It's littered of cigarette butts, you pigs. Have you been tossing these without putting them out? You'll burn the building down. Not to mention the pollution. And what happens if a passing child gets burnt from these? Fucking swine. Lean down, little piggies, and collect all these cigarette butts with your mouths now. Yes, sir. You too, asshole. Yes, sir. Now, get out of here and go back to your posts. Yes, sir. It's <laughs> fucking game. <laughs> It's a fucking game. Here it was. The antenna. I searched for wires oh, to cut. Shit. Good news. I found some wires. Bad news. I found something else behind them. What, Mr. Fox? A bomb. A bomb? In a communication antenna? Exactly. I thought someone before me placed it there to sabotage the tower. And that person was captured or killed before he could set off the bomb. However... A label adjacent to the bomb solved the enigma. It read, Communication Antenna Sparky SGL-65B Anti-Vandalism System. Anti-Personnel Bomb Explode If Person Attempt Cut Antenna Signal. Explosion will not affect structure, but shrapnel eject outside literally destroy any person nearby. Hmm, interesting. Sergeant, do we have anything similar on base? No, Lieutenant, but we can request for one. Well, continue with your farce, Mr. Fox. The label continued. For emergency purpose, disconnect antenna. Prevent explosion by follow KGS-185-U protocol. And what the hell is that protocol? The KGS-185-U protocol. I didn't figure it out at first, but it turns out that I had read that name before. So we've got here it is, right? Uh one two three Uh <laughs> So wait, how do you cut it? I use the bolt cutter to cut the 
Uh, fuck. <laughs> uh. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on. All right, let's take a look at this. Uh, here. So it's the red wire is the first one. Red wire. Well, I don't understand. Red wire, green wire, blue. Red, green, blue. I guess. I don't. I. I am. I'm also colorblind here. I think it's red, green, blue. Disconnect them first. Uh, yeah. I don't know. And then there's the scissors on the right side. I say four, five, six. Right. So hang on. Let me see this again. There's something else I can do with this. Wait, hang on. So the first part says. F6. Do I need to tie them together or something first? Is that what we gotta do? No, I can't do anything. No, I can't uh, use the wires or anything here. So that doesn't work. Hey, is there something else down here? Hang on. Let's, let's look. At, maybe there's something else here. We might be missing something. Like there's some other piece of the puzzle here. Huh? Let's see what do we got. It's aliens all over again. <laughs> I want to play that game again. Alien Isolation. I, I was going to play it this October. I kind of ran out of time in horror month. Uh, I'm not going to run out of time. I'm definitely playing Alien Isolation this October. I've forgotten everything about it. I definitely want to play Alien Isolation again. That's such an amazing game. As Alien Isolation is such an amazing game. It's, it's a little too long. But that game might have one of the best atmospheres I think I've ever had, like, seen in a video game. It's a little too long. Uh, it's a little, like, you kind of repeat yourself a lot in the game. But it's so good, dude. It's so good. Really fun game. So, I can't open that. Can I go down here or something? There it was. The helicopter I eventually escaped in. Only to have you inevitably shoot it down. But, fuck, if I flew away, the surface-to-air defenses would shoot me down. Mm -hmm. I had to disable that communication antenna Is it better so they than wouldn't space? receive the command to fire. This would, instead, provide you the pleasure to take me down yourselves, you bastards. There it was. No, 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 no. Uh, I wouldn't say Alien Isolation necessarily better than, de than Dead Space. They're, they're very different in what they're trying to do. Um... Okay, so I, I walked around here. I didn't find anything. So maybe that maybe there's not anything. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Something here, maybe. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now we're okay. Now we're in business. All right. All right. There we go. Nothing is better than Dead Space. One is a shooter, one is a survival game. Yeah, they're very, very different in what they're trying to do. They're both great games, though. If I had to choose which one I prefer, I prefer Dead Space. I definitely prefer Dead Space, but uh, one game does not invalidate the other. So, all right, so we have to clamp the red to like the silver, the red to the green, and then the. I'm, I'm colorblind. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, hang on. Let me, let me try this. Actually, let's use a porto potty here too. There we go. I use the bolt cutter to cut the. Uh. Okay, I don't get it. I don't see what's going on. Gray to the other gray. Uh, I don't get it. I mean, like, what am I looking at here? Am I stupid? There's like, uh, it looks like clamp the red to the silver. Okay. Is this a colorblind thing? Is this a, is this like a mega, is this like a mega, mega colorblind thing that's going on here? Cause it kind of feels that way. <laughs> I don't know which one's which. Okay. Hang on. I use the bolt cutter to cut the red wire. <laughs> Forgot a step. So when we tried, what do we not try? Blue? 
I, I don't even know. We, we probably don't even have the right answer here, right? I do. I tried the clamp. The clamp didn't work. I tried it. I actually tried that. Yeah, it's not working. No, you can't do it. You can't. I'm telling you, you can't do it. That's telling me clamp, clamp, clamp. I'm pressing. Do you see this? I'm pressing it. It doesn't work, dude. Can't combine the clams, I think. So maybe I'm missing another item somewhere. Wire with clamps, perfect for bypassing stuff. Uh, can I get any more of that? Okay, so I just have to go out here and punch a bunch of shit. We're gonna need, we're gonna need two more, I think, at least. We're gonna need two more. Oh, wait. Oh, can I go in here? Oh, shit. What do we got? Oh, here we are. Grenade. Oh, we just got a grenade slot. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we still can't open that, and we opened up the shortcut, I guess. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. You were confused as well. Yeah, a little uh, a little confusing there. A little confusing. It's always frustrating when you can... The game... Like, a game will let you attempt a puzzle, but you don't even have all of the pieces. So it's like... It feels like... It feels like, wow, why can't I figure this out? But the reality is, like, you can't figure it out. Okay, so clearly we have to get over there somehow. Fuck, dude. Um, that's a problem. How are we going to grab that? I see the wire. I don't see how I'm going to grab it. Punch it. You know, it's amazing how you guys are just like wrong about everything. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, you guys can be wrong about everything. Can I, uh, oh, hang on. Can I cut this uh, wire? I thought maybe I could cut the fence. Fuck! I didn't see, dude. I could barely see that motherfucker, man. This is some trolly ass shit. This is some trolly ass shit. I did not see that at all. Hmm? That's what you were saying? Shut up. No, you weren't. Liars. Okay, that one, they just give it to you. Okay. So now we've got three wires with clamps. And I'm assuming now we can now use those. Okay, now let's go use it. Nah, chat was right. I'll never acknowledge it. Never, ever. It's thankless work, isn't it, chat? <laughs> so long suffering. We tried to help Barb so bad. So, so long suffering, my chat. Let's see. So clamp the red to the silver, the purple to the orange, and the green to the blue. I think I just butchered. I th I'm pretty sure I just butchered the colors there. <laughs> I use the wire with clamps to I think connect I just butcher them. those. Uh, the red wire. With the. White wire. Okay, I think that's right. And now we need to clamp another. That's not red. Is that green? Something to green. I don't know what that is, though. What is that? <laughs> I use the wire with clamps to connect the. Uh, it's got to be. Well, we know it's not red and we know it's not yellow, so it's got to be black, right? With the. 
Black to green. Okay. And let's see, what's the last one? The last one is something to blue, orange to blue. Orange to blue. I use the wire with clamps to connect the... Oh, well, it's got to be yellow then. Okay, yellow it is. With the... <laughs> Shut up, chat. Uh, blue. Okay. Okay, now we're going to take out the bolt cutters. Now we have to cut the uh, red and silver... No, no, no. We have, first, we have to cut the yellow to blue, then the red to silver. Yellow to blue is the first one we cut. I use the bolt cutter to yeah. cut the... Blue wire. Okay. Uh, we can... Let's go ahead and save. <laughs> okay, hang on. So now we're cutting the the red. Now we cut the red, and then we cut the black. Okay. Red, black. I use the bolt cutter to cut the red. Okay. I use the bolt cutter to cut the black. There we go. All right. Hey, nice. You know, Done. for me, the that's a, that's a decent accomplishment. <laughs> The surface to air defenses would never activate if I hit the skies. Now, I can finally get that damn helicopter and escape. You're very proud. That's a decent accomplishment for me. Thank you very much. Reach the heliport. Okay, what is going to stop us before we make it? Hmm, must be missing something. There it was. The helicopter I eventually escaped in, only to have you inevitably shoot it down. You don't have the keys or something, but right? fuck. I didn't have the damn key. I needed it to get the door open. Hmm? Obtain the helicopter's key. Okay. Well, I guess we're going back. Who narrates better, this guy or Aloy? For Forbidden West was really, really like a wonderful game. That game was so good, dude. Super fun. The combat in Forbidden West was, was very enjoyable. Can I go up at all? Okay, we can't go up anymore. Uh, back down? Definitely had some issues for sure, but uh, still a great game. Oh. Hey, Fox, are you there? Yep. Here I am, Robert. Hey, boy, hey, boy. Found a helicopter, but I don't have the key. Can't you hotwire it? I can't even open the outer door. Work your magic with the radio. Maybe you can hear something useful. No problem. Let's see if a guard can be tricked into telling where a spare key is. Thanks, friend. Okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and empty the old potty here. You've got Monster Hunter to get to. Yeah, I think everybody has some kind of backlog for video games. Everybody's got one, you know. Look, okay, every time I go to the base, I just want to leave and go fight more. Everybody's got the old backlog here. Let me call the doctor. Uh, maybe keep going back down. More than 20. All these smoking guards earlier really past all the sleeping guards. My backlog goes back to 2000. Uh, Tiger Hobbs. Thank you for the 16 months. Thank you, Tiger Hobbs. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Mr. Fox, my daughter is still not responding. I'm sure she's fine. By the way, do you know where I can find a key? She's fine? My daughter is not replying. Hoffman was too obsessed with his daughter. I had to find someone less stressed and ask about the helicopter key. Where's your assistant? He's working. Okay. Your backlog brings all the boys to the yard. I need the key to the helicopter on the rooftop. I, I, I don't know where it is. I've never flown one. I swear. He was right. Why would a scientist know where the helicopter keys are kept? If I was to find out, it would have to involve asking someone else in the building. Do I, maybe I gotta go talk to the guy on the top floor? Maybe, maybe that's who we gotta talk to? 
Maybe I'm in the wrong area, right? Let's go find Mike. Yeah, we gotta go find Mike. He was back on the top. Okay. Mike is here to save the day. Kind of sauce. A little bit of, uh, I think there's like a tiny little bit of needless back and forward in this game. It's not that bad, but a little bit of, uh, needless back and forward here. Use the shortcut. Is it this way? Joey Riller would definitely go down the vent you found on the, uh, you should go down the vent you found on the roof. Yeah, that was the shortcut, right? And we're good. There we go. Hey, Mike. How did they bring you here? In a helicopter. Like everyone else. Everyone but me. Mike, I'm looking for the key to that helicopter. Well, General X probably has it in his office. Is it far? Mm -hmm. You're right in front of it. That door? Yes. Fuck. Finally some luck. But. But. What? Only General X can open it. Shit. Can't you use your magic? Nope. There has to be a way to get in there. A uh, back door or something. Come on, Mike, think. Hmm, wait. His office might have another entrance. A while ago, I was studying the map of this building, and mm -hmm. I saw something weird. Weird? On what Epic, a weird? Castlevania parody? How is that game? A private elevator that leads to the basement. Always wondered why he wanted an unlocked private elevator. So you could take the main up, Mike to the basement and go through there to General Lex's private elevator? Yep. Thanks, Mike. I'm going to the basement. Mike, wait! The basement is a fucking maze! Take this map with you. You'll need it to get through safely. It's like a Mimi Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Got you. So, maybe back to the hey, elevator Fox, and go down? Are you searching for a helicopter key? Fuck yeah. You have it yet? Not yet, but I believe General X has one in his office. Mike thinks Why? we're Mike. Because I heard some talk on the radio. They're keeping a copy of that key in a special room. It's somewhere close to General X's office, through a private lift. Don't know what room it is or where, but I know the door is marked with an X. A door marked with an X? Yeah, man. Fucking weird. Thanks, Robert. If I don't find the key in his office, I'll look for that room. Okay. Okay, so probably got to go to the basement now, right? Go to the basement. I mean, have you thought about playing the Castlevania mod for the original Doom? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm the one that mentioned it to you guys. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I was the one that was like, yeah, I saw this mod. It's fucking crazy. I'm pretty sure you probably heard about it from me. So yeah, I did think about playing it. The camera looks crisp tonight. Press X to doubt. Remember the thing you told us about? You think you're going to do it? <laughs> my mother wanted to name me Mike when my last name is Hunt. Father had to say, explain why that would be a bad idea. Can we go all the way down from here? Oh, we can go down. Okay. Welcome to the basement. Uh, thanks. Who are you? I'm the Lord of the Labyrinth. Oh, God. If I hadn't had enough already, a mental patient <laughs> escaped from a ward. <laughs> I played along. I'm Fox, yeah. son of Zox. I hail you, O Lord of the Labyrinth. What's behind that door? A dark labyrinth filled with deadly traps. Why did they build a maze down here? They didn't. The labyrinth already existed. This building was built over an old prison. Archfolk, thank you for the 15 over months. Over ancient catacombs. It is said that the souls of the prisoners still dwell there. Are you trying to scare me with that children's story? It is merely a warning. Such is the esteemed duty of the Lord of the Labyrinth. I wish to enter the Labyrinth. Then say friend in Elvish <laughs> and the door will open. Friend in Elvish? Shit. Turns out the mental patient was a fucking Lord of the Rings geek. What person in their right mind knows how to say friend in Elvish? Well, I don't know the word. Can you give me a hint? I'm afraid I can't grant any assistance to this enigma. What if I grant you a punch in the face? Uh, uh fruit. Big, sweet. You eat it in the summer? Watermelon? It lacks water. Melon? <laughs> We 
couldn't see shit. If that labyrinth was full of traps, I was going to need something to see in there. I need a light or something? Ah, fuck, man. Are they really Pineapple, gonna- Pineapple, cherries, orange, melon. I couldn't see shit. If that so labyrinth we need to get some traps, kind of light or something. I was something. going to need something to see in there. All right. Forcing me back out. Can I go farther down? No. Okay. Did I know the word? I don't remember if it was. Me I don't know. I don't remember what it is from Lord of the Rings. It might be. It might be Mel Melon. I know he says friend, and that's that's it. It might be Melon. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think the story is that uh, if you want if you want to test if you want to test my uh, my Lord of the Rings knowledge, uh, Gandalf was overthinking it because uh, he was thinking it was some really complicated password. But Moria was built in an age when the dwarves and elves were friends, so it was like he was basically overthinking the entire thing, and uh, the like he was he was going over complicated like super passwords. Reality is just say friend, and then that was it because it was made during an age when the elves and dwarves were no longer so estranged or anything. So, and that would be why, fucking Lord of the Rings geek over here. Yes. Now I want to reread Lord of the Rings. Um, sir, you are very... Oh, we got the Terminators are still here? Fuck. Oh, man. Well, I don't know where the light could be, right? Can I call somebody? Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Guess what I found? The love of your life? Your photos. Oh, really? They didn't destroy them? No. They must have Diogenes Syndrome. <laughs> are you saying my pics are trash? Man, these pictures leave a lot to be desired. Did you take them with one of those disposable cardboard cameras? Ha <laughs> ha! You're such an ass. Only the smartest of them. Take them with you, my friend. I hope they help you for something. Will do. Over and out. I was kind of hoping he'd be like, hey, here's where you can get a light. <laughs> I guess not. So, uh... We need to find some kind of way to create a light here. I don't know how we're. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Hmm. Oh, there's a missile here. Let's go pick up. I left this rocket. Let me go back up to the lab. Maybe the scientists have something. Maybe. Hmm. So why were the elves and the dwarves estranged? Uh, well, according to Gandalf, the estrangement of all the races and stuff is part of the work of like Sauron. It's like, that's part of his doing, so. According to, according to Gandalf. Camera flash maze. Well, these guys aren't talking to me. I don't know what to do, actually. I don't know what to do. I feel like, I feel like I'm like, uh, I should have something that I don't. These guys aren't talking to me at all. Ah, well, we've already we've already done this. Yeah. Well, I don't know, guys. Uh, where the fuck do I even go right now? Call the Nintendo Power Hotline. It's a pretty big base to have to go look around, right? It's a pretty big base. Let's go uh, up to three, or what's what was down this way? F one. Oh, wait, I remember this. Yeah, this is this room, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me go out. Maybe Mike's got it. Maybe Mike's got it. Is there a hint on the map? I don't think there is a map. I don't think there is one. I feel like the game has gotten a little bit, not like, oh my God, I hate it, but like a tiny bit more tedious towards the end, like a little bit, you know? This this chapter's had a lot of a lot of kill you very fast, a lot of running back and forward. Like it isn't like I hate it now and like it's awful, but use the map. No, I need a light. I need a light. Not, not a map. Uh east, east, west, west, north, 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 east. Oh god. <laughs> we need a light though. I did hear about that, Lexi B. I have heard about that. Padding and maybe a little bit of padding here. Okay, so he's got nothing for us either. 
Well, fuck, man. I don't know where the light is. I am at a loss. The doctor? Call the doctor? Jesse here. Over. Nothing. Jesse here. Over. So there's nobody to call. Nobody to call anymore. You want to read it just because? Uh, I bet it's not particularly good. I bet it's not great. <sighs> Hang on. I don't know if I, I don't know if, if there's anybody on the other the line. Katie, could I have a cup of coffee? Over. <laughs> Katie, I want a cup of coffee. Over. I don't think that's going to work either. <laughs> Ah, uh, free Schnurbert ride. Thank you for the uh, 42 months. Lord David, thank you for the resub. Dom, just Dom. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Do we? Okay, this is bullets, right? Okay. Well, I think we can rule out this floor. I don't think there's anything left to do here. You wish I posted YouTube clips of mail time? Ah, there's only so much stuff I could put on YouTube, you know? Maybe back on the top floor? Punch walls. I, mean, I don't know why there would be a light source here, right? So probably not. Metal gear. Yeah. I don't know. So it's got to be on F1 or F2, right? It's got to be F1, F2. Yeah, Jukaki was the one that got the uh, the Gilbert Gottfried uh, Dark Dungeon clips. Yeah, there's a fence there, but I can't see. I seemingly can't do anything there. So it's got to be on one or two at this point, right? Can you take one of the heliport lights? Can you read that sentence back to yourself and answer your own question? <laughs> go, go ahead, go ahead and read that one back to yourself. Maybe your roomie didn't have clearance to before. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. The goggles are night vision. Binoculars, sunglasses, protect the eyes from hard light, anti-rad suit. I don't think the anti-rad suit does anything. I don't have any, I don't have anything here. Uh, let's see, this guy, this Terminator might want to fight me. Those fucking Terminators, man. Those Terminators are rough. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, he can hit me, but I can't hit him? A bunch of bullshit. How many, uh, how many rockets do I have? Nothing? Okay. Must have been the wind, yeah. Fucking shit, man. So I guess this was a room. So... This was a room I, I didn't find at all on my first time. It required the pass, the four pass key. And this is what I need to advance back to the basement. I feel like uh, a line of dialogue or something. Like, I didn't even know this room existed. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but... A little, a little aggravating there. Maybe like a little aggravating there. I didn't even see, I don't know if I even saw that room. I don't know if I even saw it. Uh, acted, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you, acted. Appreciate it. All right, back down. It's very Metal Gear Solid one. Uh, here, let's go. It's a pa oh, it's a passive thing. Pineapple, cherries, orange, melon. <laughs> so stupid. All right, let's see. We got the map. East, east, west, west. I reached the first intersection. It had three exits, north, 
east and, and west. I checked the map. Uh, okay, so the map is gonna automatically get, get like referenced here, I guess. Okay, you see where this is going? East. The first letter was E, so I took the path to the east. Next one is also E. I reached the second intersection. It also had three exits, north, east, and west. I checked the map a second time. The second letter was also an E, so I took the east path. I would make an effort to check the map at every intersection as I proceeded. Map indicates the exit of each intersection, not the exits of each screen. Okay, so it's the intersections and not the screen. So we've got uh, west west. So west would be this way. Ah! What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Uh, east east west west. I mean, that's west, right? Miss. Do not disturb. Complete the category without destroying any cell gates. Is that why you can shoot the spirits? Okay. Interesting. You're getting legit belly laughs out of this playthrough. What's the point of that? Okay, so. Well, it says the intersection, right? So this is the intersection. This is south or west. So I guess we're going west. And west again. Wow, man, these things suck. Wow, these suck. These things really, really suck. Huh? Spooky. So that was west and now west again. Bullshit on that one. It says west, west, east, east, west. Right? So this is west. How is this right? How is this right? Okay, this says north, right? So there's only one way to go is north. Now this is also north. Well, these directions fucking suck, don't they? All right, let's use uh, let's use a porto potty. I can't. Okay, porto potty. There we go. Huh? And then by screen. So north, 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 north. It's four north. How many norths have we done? How many fucking norths have we done? Two, three. Uh, another north? Last north? 
Okay. Two IQ. Shut up. Now it says uh, east, south, east. Oh, uh, east. Uh, I think I understand better what it means. Okay. I think I understand better what it means. Okay, so north. And now this is east, south, east, right? East, south, east, east. I give up. South. Now east. Okay, so east this way. Uh, east, south, east. Now south, south. So south. East. Uh, south. Wait. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> south. And north, north. North, 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 north. Huh? Sorth, you're lost. North. 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 And north again. Okay, and now east, north, east. Have we gone north yet? East? No, this is the north. Potty? Yeah, probably smart. Uh, now I think it's west, right? West, west. 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 Glitched goddess. Thank you for the 17 months. Thank you, glitched goddess. So if you die, dude, it like mega... If you die, it like mega fucks you over. <laughs> Fuck, where was I? I don't fucking remember where I was. Where was it? It was like northwest. Okay, this is it. I was like, that was like a million years ago, dude. How am I supposed to remember that? <laughs> uh, what was it? West, west, now north, east, north, east, north, 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 east, north, Oh, how are you supposed to go north here? Oh, there's the door. Fuck! God damn it! No. Uh, north, east, north, 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 east, north. There was something odd about that wall. I found a suspicious brick that smelled like turkey. I pushed it and... Is that a Castlevania reference? <laughs> Is that a Castlevania reference? There we go, GG. Man, I guess we missed on an 8 EXP on that one. Damn. All right. Hey, stage complete. Final chapter, escape complete.
I entered the secret door and left those dungeons behind. Right. Ahead of me was a less dank portion of the basement. According to Mike, there had to be an elevator somewhere that went to General X's office, which should ultimately hold the original helicopter key. On the other hand, Robert told me that he heard of a way too dank. Whoop. Sorry. Special room with an X on its door, which could alternatively hold a copy of that key. Either option was fine as long as I could get a hold of a damn working key. And thus, my search of the basement began. Okay. New mission, explore the basement. All right. Uh, do both, maybe? I don't know. We'll see, right? All right. Uh, thank you again, Glitched Goddess. Thank you, Acted, for the resub. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Can I? No. What does this say? Challenge unlocked. Escape complete. Uh, all right. Let's see. What do we have in my inventory right now? We have, we have no heals. We're kind of low on bullets. Okay. Uh, I guess let's try this one. Get the true ending. I don't know what the true ending is. I don't fucking know. What is what, is what in this game? C1. Okay. What's up, Omnimorphic? How are you? C1. Do I have to combine all four C's to C4? Is that what we're doing? There it was. General X's private elevator. Okay. It's over here. Oh, there's the X door. He's got a strong fucking punch. Punching with enough force to ignite gas. He's got a strong fucking punch, doesn't he? Getting uh, Resident Evil mu music vibes from this right now. I still feel like a Resident Evil game that kind of looked like this with like puzzles and stuff would be kind of cool. That'd be kind of neat. Yeah, I punched the gas tank. Why wouldn't I? Of course I did. You punch like everything in this game, dude. <laughs> why, why wouldn't I punch the thing that's very obvious to punch? All right, so we have... Um, plastic explosive. We now have C4. Now, what do we do with C4? I don't know. Just boom. There it was, General X's private elevator. I guess let's try this, right? To use the explosive, I needed something to act as a timer. Uh, don't I have a watch? I do. C4 with wristwatch. Okay, I still, uh, still can't use it. Okay, so maybe we have to go to the door. We have to go to the door. Okay, let's go back to the door with the X. A door marked with an X, just like Robert told me. There it was, the secret room where they kept the helicopter key. Why would they keep a key in such a creepy place instead of an office? The more I thought about it, the more things felt out of place. I had a strange feeling. Like a gut feeling that something was just... wrong. Mr. Fox. You have finally arrived. General X? The same. Are you searching for a key, Mr. Fox? Perhaps one for a helicopter? Hmm? 
You won't find it here, Mr. Fox. I'm afraid that your contact has betrayed you. <laughs> Fuck. Don't blame him. He's been the victim of my counterintelligence. Right there, in front of me, was General X, the puppet master of Operation Jericho. Not only was he a merciless, psychopathic asshole, he was so smart that he could predict my every move. For starters, he tricked me and Robert into searching for this room. You had us waiting longer than expected, Mr. Fox. If you drew some arrows in the labyrinth, I would have come sooner. <laughs> that would remove a certain charm, don't you think? By the way, I brought some company. Colonel! Doctor! I see you're already acquainted. I'll get to the point, Mr. Fox. Surrender. Otherwise, we'll start executing our guests. There were too many people. If I opened fire, Harris and the doctor could die. Uh, JKY2K, you know, thanks to the guess. resub. Uh, Jeff, the thanks to resub. Shooting, but you know that Harris and the doctor could die. Fuck, yeah. He read my mind, but that asshole X was a clean shot. If I shot quickly, I could kill him. Now you're probably thinking I'm stupid for being so exposed, and that you can kill me with a quick enough shot. If you shoot and kill me, that would be the end of the final boss. Of all of this, you'd be a hero. Do you really have such a low opinion of my intellect, Mr. Fox? Shit. This was part of his plan. He was here my on fourth purpose. Wall. I was thinking that he might have worn a bulletproof vest. By now, you should be thinking that I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. Shooting an armored man would be foolish, don't you think? Fuck. He read my mind once again. But even if his body was covered, his head was not. Oh boy. One bullet between his Here eyes we go. and goodbye. But you're not a quitter, Mr. Fox. It's only logical that you'd consider shooting me in the head. I will admit, a challenging yet possible shot. An Olympian trial of marksmanship, reflexes, and luck. Let me spare you the trouble. Sergeant! Yes, sir! Shoot me in the head at point blank range. Fuck. Sir! That's an order. Uh, yes, sir! Is that... Is that Sarge? <laughs> the bullet went through his head, but the bastard was unfazed. It felt like Sarge from Red vs. Blue. Here, post, Sergeant. Yes, sir! <laughs> what you're staring at in awe, Mr. Fox, is a projected image of myself. A hologram? Precisely, Mr. Fox. And now that it's Strong obvious bad. that you can't kill me, let's conclude the matter of your surrender. Or are there not enough dead bodies to convince you? Just give me ten seconds to think about it. Of course. Surrender, Harris, Doctor. Uh, surrender? I don't know. Uh, let's try surrender. It's okay. I surrender. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe not. Okay. Maybe not that. Okay, let's go doctor. Kill the doctor. Okay, uh, let's try Harris. <laughs> Mr. Fox. Let's try, let's try every option here. Kill Harris. Okay, okay, that didn't work either. Okay. Let me try something else. Let me try something else. I have one other Mr. thing I want to try here. Option four. What if I just sit here and don't do anything for a second? If this works, I swear to God. Okay, I don't think it's working. <laughs> I don't think it's working. Uh, I think it's been more than 10 seconds. Okay, all right, I have another idea. I have another idea. 
It's okay. I surrender. Okay, another idea. Next idea. Okay, here's my next idea. We have the C4. Put the C4 here. Now let's try it. <laughs> now let's try it. Mr. Fox. So is this dialogue going to be exactly the same then? Oh. Oh, man. I wish I hadn't. Hang on. Load. Okay. Okay. Let's let's go through. It looks like uh, something changed. Let's go through the dialogue here. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll go through the dialogue and we won't skip anything. Mr. Fox. God, yeah, I don't know. You have finally arrived. General X. The same. Are you searching for a key, Mr. Mm -hmm. Fox? Perhaps yeah. one for a helicopter? Mm -hmm. You won't find it here, Mr. Fox. I'm afraid that your contact has betrayed you. <laughs> Fuck. Don't blame him. He's been the victim of my counterintelligence. Right there in front of me was General X, mm -hmm. the puppet master it's of the Operation It's the same, but eventually Jericho. it won't. I, don't, I just don't know Not where it changes. Not only was he a merciless, psychopathic asshole, he was so smart that he could predict my every move. All right, let's get the beginning move. part. Colonel! Doctor! Hmm? I see you're already acquainted. I'll get to the point, Mr. Fox. Surrender. Otherwise, we'll start executing our guests. There were too many people. If I opened fire, Harris and the doctor could die. Let me guess. You're considering the option of shooting, but you oh, know boy. that Harris okay, and the doctor... Hang on. Okay. Maybe uh, now we're good, because we've seen all of that. through his head, but the bastard was unfazed. Return to your post, Sergeant. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what you're staring at in awe, Mr. Fox, is a projected image of myself. A hologram? Mm -hmm. Precisely, Mr. Fox. And now that it's obvious that you can't kill me, let's conclude the matter of your surrender. Or are there not enough dead bodies to convince you? Just give me ten seconds to think about it. Of course. Irony God, watch out. Uh, I mean, what do you guys think? Irony God or watch out? Let's go irony, I guess. Do you know what I find ironic? Do tell, Mr. Fox. That the two soldiers standing behind the doctor and the colonel, the ones supposed to execute them, are actually the ones that'll save their lives. Fascinating. How do you figure? Meat shields. Meat shields? For what? Bricks. What? That was pretty cool. Doctor! I'm fine. What happened? An explosion. The guard behind I wonder what the other ones do. Front of it. Colonel! He's alive. Looks like he just blacked out. We have to leave before we Uh, fecal alcohol. Around. Thank you for I'm the 51 months. It's best not to move him. We don't know if he has any fractures or internal wounds. I'll take the risk. He can't stay here. Doctor, let's go. I'm not coming, Fox. Why not? There yeah, I wonder what the other ones are. My attention, and I don't want to leave my father alone. What? They were going to kill you. No, they weren't. It was just a trick to catch you. And if I leave, my father won't work and they'll kill him. Run! Go away! I'll come back for you with the cavalry. You have my word. I left that room carrying the colonel. Okay. Wait, you're saying that you managed to rescue Colonel Harris? That's correct. Well, Mr. Fox, let's see what you invent to remove him from this story. Lieutenant, we found a corpse in the remains of the helicopter. What? Who is he? We don't know, Lieutenant. It was totally carbonized by the fire. Take him to the lab. I want a forensic analysis done yesterday. Do you understand me, Wachowski? Yes, sir. Fuck. We killed Colonel Harris. May God forgive us. No, he's not Harris. The Colonel died a month ago in an ambush. These are his personal belongings, his dog tag, his watch. Don't you remember, Sergeant? We found them on his corpse. That man has never seen the Colonel. He's just trying to confuse us with his lies. Fuck's sake, he has absolutely no evidence for what I he's can't. saying. I have this. 
But what? If I'm not mistaken, it's a graduation ring for the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Colonel Harris graduated in a 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Sergeant, you don't believe him, do you? With all due respect, sir, I only said that Colonel Harris graduated in the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. He's trying to fool us, Sergeant. I remind you that there are more rings like this one. Yes, but not with the same smell. <laughs> it reeks of shit. Sir, permission to smell the ring? <laughs> Fuck. It smells just like Colonel Harris's anus. What? How the hell do you know what the Colonel's <laughs> anus smells like? I'm not authorized to reveal that information, sir. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> Mr. Fox, continue your story. Let's see if we can finish this once and for all. Ah, uh, what? I don't know if they saw me or if that was because uh, couldn't avoid eating ass in this game. I'm not sure if that's because they saw me or what, what that was about. Maybe I should take the guards out. Yeah, let's drop you here. Just fucking dump them on the ground. Okay, let's go and equip uh, this. Yeah, it might have been the explosion. Maybe maybe they were maybe they were coming no matter what, right? There's something very resident evil about the the music here. Uh tiki 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 tiki. Thank you for the third uh the 12 months. Thank you so much. Fieri, walk with me. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, this game is enthralling. All right, let's try to be a little bit... Oh, see, like, I think they see you no matter what here. Pretty sure they see you no matter what. Oh, that works. <laughs> that works for me. Okay. I guess I think they're coming no matter what. I'm pretty sure pretty sure they're coming no matter what. No, I've got no more health. Okay. <laughs> That's how you do that part. That's how you do that part, guys. I went up in the private elevator of... Lieutenant, they found a bullet in the carbonized corpse head. A bullet? So it wasn't us after all. Colonel Harris was murdered. Hey, friend, don't look at me. I haven't killed anyone. I'm not your friend. For fuck's sake, shut up. Wachowski, <laughs> send the bullet to science officer Hollister for analysis and tell him to collate it with the gun Mr. Fox had on him. Maybe we'll have a surprise. Uh oh. I want the results of that five minutes ago. Understood? Yes, sir. Stop asking for things in the future or in the past. <laughs> That's so stupid. Chat, I wanted subscriptions an hour ago. Hi, this is Unepic Fran. Welcome to the digital mini art book of Unmetal. Oh. Actually, part of an MSX game I created called Prisoner of War. Oh, interesting. Another version of Unmetal's graphics at first, Thanks the action took place during the day. The yes, sir. Loser. Uh, Fig Picker, thank you for the tier two 57 months. Miss, Mr. Seven Yami, thank you for the 14 three. months. Wow, it actually worked. <laughs> That actually worked. Uh, Arsonist Architect, thank you for the five Seven gifts of spree. Metal Gear Barbados, thank you for the gifts of uh, fucking A. Thank you guys so much. 
Mm-hmm. Subbing spree. First marker for the intro that play, pays homage to the A team. Uh, okay. Interesting. Playable menus. Okay. Jesse Fox for a project called Afraid. Unfortunately, the Kickstarter campaign wasn't successful. First concept, he was a badass guy who was forced to work for a non-profit as an ATV driver. What? Uh, uh, Yukon Dropout, thank you for the gifts. Of, holy crap. Forever Sith, thank you for the resub. Agnet, thank you for the resub. Mutter, thank you for the four years. Uh, not applicable, thank you for 11 months. Trigonometry, thank you for the 35 months. Thank you very, very much. Subbing holy shit. Three. Uh, Mario Mustachio, thank you for four months. King Isaac, thank you for six months. Thank you, guys. Holy crap. <laughs> it arrived five minutes ago. It's kind of cool how it's like it tells you the story of the game. It's kind of cool, right? Uh, okay. Try to, yeah. Okay. Okay, this is a bit. I'm, I, I, it's kind of interrupting the flow of the game, isn't wow. it? That asshole General X had some cool music equipment. Bits. Multi band equalizer. Auto amplified subwoofer and no way. Double deck cassette player. Fuck, you could record directly from one cassette to another. The fuck? <laughs> uh. Oh, there's a bathroom here, I guess. We can go Bits. use that. Okay, what do we got? Files? No files? Bits. All right, let's go use the bathroom here. Uh, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Holy crap. Uh, green top. Thank you for 18 months. Molder. Thank you for seven months. Thank you very much. Thanks guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream and thank you guys for watching. Bits. Uh, Fuck. I found out that bastard kept a fully stocked armory. Holy shit. Office. Uh, GG has. Thank you for the five gift subs. Bits. Oh boy, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of grenades here, man. <laughs> oh boy. We got a boss fight coming up. Yeah. Bits. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Subbing spree. We're lacking a weapon. Uh, yeah, we, I, swear, I guess we're missing something. Who, who knows what it is? Honestly, who knows? Uh, let's go back and let's go, uh, use the bathroom real quick. Bits. I guess, can I go this? Okay, I still, I still don't have the key card. Bits. No health. Uh, B toll. thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. I think I just peed on him. <laughs> Uh, Rock Paper Deluxe, thanks for the resub. Thank you guys all so much. Thank you for all the bets. Thank you for all the resubs. Appreciate it, guys. Oh, there's more shit here. Thank you. <laughs> I almost missed that. Okay. I finally reached the last floor. Lieutenant, we already have the ballistics results. And? You are right, sir. Ballistics established that the bullet was fired from Mr. Fox's Subs. gun. Scripture. You killed Colonel Harris, you bastard. Sergeant, behave. Sir, permission to execute that assassin. Permission denied. First off, we can't confirm the identity of the victim until we have the forensics report. Second, according to policy, Mr. Fox has the right to finish his story. Mr. Fox, continue. And you better not contradict the evidence we're collecting. Okay. Uh, Plague, thank you for the 35 months. Otis B, thank you for 27 months. That's a weird policy the military's Mr. got. Fox, oh boy. Leaving so soon and without a farewell. That's not very neighborly of you. And what's that on your shoulder? That's personal property, Mr. Fox. Haven't your parents taught you never to steal? General X stood in my way, assuming it was really him and not another hologram. Are you asking yourself if I'm another hologram? Well, yeah. <laughs> no, not this time. It is I, in the flesh. Good. Then I'll... Put a bullet in my head. You read my mind. Please tell me, Mr. Fox. How does one shoot 
that which they cannot see. What? What the fuck? Do you like my new device, Mr. Fox? Optical electronic hollow camouflage, the latest in nanotechnology. Nano machine, if son. You start firing randomly. There's still a chance I may be hit. I believe dumb luck is a concept you're fond of. Hmm? So if you don't mind, I invite you to expend some ammunition with some friends. Jesse Fox versus General X. Okay. Kind of got destroyed right there. Okay. Uh, here, let's go ahead and let's go use... Hang on, let's go use one of these health kits. Uh, okay. Uh, can I not... Hang on. We're going down? I can't go up? Oh, we can't go up. Right. <laughs> Why do I have a pistol? Uh, I mean, I've got grenades and, sh and shit. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. left fox i imagine not i suspect you've stashed some grenades though let's find out oh shit what the fuck is that whoa Shit, man. This is serious. Okay. Okay. A little bit better. Mr. F the Blaster Master sequel is lit. Shagohad. I don't know what's going on at the end. The, the game is like throwing back all the items I had across the game. It's giving me all my old items back. Wow. Uh, well, I got fucking owned on that one too. Damn, this is hard. Yeah, we have the rocket launcher too. I only have one med kit. So, seems tough. I don't know why I'm getting all the items back from like the game. I'm not sure why that's happening. Okay. He's stealing them. Oh shit. How many, dude? I keep thinking I'm done. We done yet? I keep thinking I'm done. You have many bullets <laughs> left, Fox. I imagine not. I keep thinking I'm done. Which means it's time to comfortably finish you. By the way, I'm sure you may have noticed by now, while you were distracted with my friends, I took the liberty to follow you around and recover some of my stolen property. 
Ah, uh, what the hell do I do? I'm not hitting him. Hang on. Grenade? EMP? Oh! Okay, so you gotta, like, EMP him. Oh, did I lose my bandages? Did he take my bandages? I've got no more bandages, dude? Aw, oh, I'm dead then. Wow! Yikes, so it looks like I have to... I'm dead. It looks like I have to EMP him and then shoot him with something else. Man, dude, that's rough. Wow. This is, uh... This is no joke. This is really serious. Okay. Yeah, he's like taking shit from me, I guess. I imagine not. General pickpocket. Do weapons have shortcut grenades. options? They do not. No. Dude, this is garbage, man. Fuck you, dude. God, I wish I had some more healing or something, man. I'm so low on everything. Damn, man. Mr. F this is really rough. Which means it's Balder time to punching come asshole. And finish you. <laughs> By the way. I might be dead. I'm on, do I have a band? Oh, I don't think I have any bandages. If you, I wish I didn't I didn't get there and not take a hit or something because if I take one hit I bleed out He keeps taking my bandages. That's really rough, man. That's rough Just don't get hit Use the triangle thing. Why don't you No, he like he took that for me too Besides that's like a god mode artifact thing. I'm not gonna do that. Wow I already got fucked on If I miss like one shot, I'm just fucking done. If I miss like one shot, I'm done. 
Yeah, it, I kind of wish I had like a few more health kits here, but I guess that's my, I guess that's my fault. You know, who do I have to blame? That's my fault. Boy, if you miss, like, dude, dude, if I miss even one shot, if I miss even one shot, that's just like it. If I miss like one shot, that's just all it is. That's really rough. I can't miss like, I have to be perfect taking these guys out. What was it do? What was I gonna do? Do you have many bullets? Left yeah, box? it fucks me. If I miss even one shot, it screws me over so bad. And now it's gonna happen. I'm gonna get hit by the current. Can I just leave? Man, like just getting shot once is it? Because the game mandates that you heal. Like I and. Like normally you could use a bandage to heal yourself, but they, they take it away from you. So it like Omega fucks me. It like Omega fucks me. Mr. Fox. Dude, he takes it away. So soon and without a Hang on, I can try to equip it. I don't think that's gonna make a difference, but This is fucked. This is really fucked up, dude. This is really, really fucked. This, this is, is my fucked. home now. Yeah, this is my home now. This is my home now. Turn down the difficulty? Never. Who said that? Uh, he took my bandages again. Having them equipped doesn't stop him from taking it. I didn't hit him. Oh, I feel so ripped off.
I have uh, underestimated you, Mr. Fox. Boss yeah. defeated. Boss defeated. <laughs> I can't even heal him, even if I wanted to, right? Helicopter key. What are you waiting for? Finish me. Time without paying for your crimes? No way. I'll take you to a trial so they condemn you and lock you in a cell to rot for the rest of your life. I see. Tell me, Mr. Fox, how are you going to take me if you can't move? What? You're so predictable. I knew you wouldn't kill me or let me die. Just like all of my other subordinates, they consistently led you directly into my trap, Mr. Fox. Honestly, I hope you were going to surprise me again, like that little spark in the basement. But once more, the pen is mightier than the sword. By the way, thanks for volunteering to test my new paralyzer. The discharge it releases shuts down the whole peripheral nervous system. You should have killed me when you had the chance. See you never, Mr. Fox. See you never, General X. Are you all right, son? <laughs> Don't worry. The effects on the paralysis will wear off soon. But it's not prudent to stay here. Mm -hmm. Come on, stand up, Fox. I'll help you walk. Hey! <laughs> is, is EXP gain zero to zero, secrets zero. <laughs> Colonel Harris and I went to the helicopter. Okay. Now is it time for the later, Kojima three hour cutscene? We took off. Lieutenant, we have the forensic report of the carbonized corpse. Hand it to the sergeant. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Looks like we can finally prove that Mr. Fox has been lying. Sergeant, what does the report say? And the physiological study confirms that the corpse with identification C4423 measures three inches taller than Colonel Alan Harris, disproving his identity. What? Then he's not the colonel. Of course not. I told you, Sergeant. Care to explain this, Mr. Fox? Are you going to tell us that he was tortured on a rack until <laughs> it stretched him three inches? <laughs> that would be ridiculous. He's not Colonel Harris. I never said he was. You what? You just told us that you both flew away in that helicopter. I told you we escaped together, but never said that corpse was Colonel Harris. In fact, I have no idea who it is. Are you sure you found it in the helicopter? Did you plan it yourselves to incriminate me? Like some dirty cops? How dare you! Enough games, Mr. Fox, enough! We'll find out who you are and then we'll execute you. What now? What the hell is happening in here? Colonel in the room, salute! At ease. Colonel Harris? You, you're you alive. Sir, we, we thought you passed away. As you can see, Lieutenant, I'm alive and kicking. Why is this man handcuffed? We were interrogating him. He's a spy that we captured, sir. A spy? Are you pulling my leg? He's a civilian who was imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. He's also the man that not only saved my life and freed me from the ex-army base, but also he found classified information about Operation Jericho that will be essential in stopping the ex-army. For goodness sakes, that man's a fucking hero. Release him immediately. Y yes sir Did you tell them your heroic feet, Fox? I was at when we entered the helicopter, Colonel. But it looks like they found a corpse in the helicopter. But fuck, I don't know who he is. They say he has a bullet in his head, and it came from my gun. But I haven't killed anyone. That corpse was General X. I killed him with your gun myself. Don't you remember? See you never, General X. Later, while you were regaining your senses inside the helicopter, 
I retrieved General X's corpse and dragged it to the helicopter's aft. That bastard was heavy. In the air, you know what happened. Hurry up, Fox. They're following us. Don't rush me, Colonel. I'm getting used to the controls. This piece of junk has levers and buttons everywhere. But don't panic. I think we'll be able to reach Allied territory before they catch up. Then I'll call the cavalry. This game is always calling Charlie, the cavalry. Alpha, Charlie, Alpha, five, four, four, three, eight. You need to play Metal Gear Solid again. Damn it! This radio isn't working. Fucking piece of shit. Don't worry, Colonel. As soon as we reach Allied territory, they'll stop pursuing us. Don't worry, son. With no radio, when this fully armed piece of Soviet junk pings their radar, the first thing they're gonna do when we don't answer is take us down. Fuck. So we'll be shot at if we keep going, or we'll be shot at when we turn around? Affirmative. We're between a rock and a hard place. We'll abandon the helicopter as soon as we cross the border. I'm gonna search for the parachutes. But jumping would still be risky in this jungle terrain. You have them, Colonel? We're nearly there! There's only one, Fox. You jump and deliver the documents to the Allies. Are you insane, Colonel? They won't believe me. And you don't know how to pilot this junk. I'm dead to them anyway. You're young. You have your life ahead of you, son. Take this ring. Show it to them. They'll believe you. Fuck, it reeks of shit. <laughs> well, that's because those asshole bastards were going to snatch it as they put their hands on me. So I hid it in the only safe place I had left. My ass. <laughs> Come on, son, put on the parachute. Colonel, you need to jump and tell them everything yourself. We argued about who had to jump, but I had to admit that Mr. Fox had one convincing argument. Fox, what are you waiting for? Hurry up, oh, son. Oh, God. We are running out of time. For heaven's sake, put on the parachute. Yeah. The next thing I remember was waking up, <laughs> hanging from the parachute tangled to a tree. The owner of a farm who spotted me arrived a few minutes later. After tending to my wounds and offering me food, he was so kind as to bring me here to the base. The lieutenant and the sergeant were shocked and immediately apologized. A few days later, the Army decorated me with two medals. Jesse Fox, for rescuing an MIA military colonel and recovering intelligence on Operation Cherico. I, Colonel Alan Harris of the 5th Battalion, award you a Purple Cross of Civilian Courage. <laughs> that medal really exists? It didn't. They had to invent it, as they had nothing that they could provide for a civilian. You're also awarded the Gandhi Medal of the National Idiot. <laughs> National Idiot? Well, I received it because I didn't kill any enemies at all during the escape. As you know, militaries don't get why killing is wrong. Well, at least we agree on that. So, thanks to the documents I found, the Allies could find and sink every related submarine. The military base, docks, and Omega building were the target of a large operation. Everyone was arrested. Robert the Paparazzi published the story and won a Pulitzer Prize. The two doctors and their two fathers dedicated themselves to finding a cure for cancer using nanonuclear weapons. Wasn't it one doctor? That's what they wanted us to oh believe. Oh my god. The captain of that boat? Retired with my fifty million dollars, but he died of gonorrhea the week after. Seriously? No, but he would have deserved it. Do you remember Private Mike, the one I found hammered and whose leave I obtained? Well, he could finally visit his daughter for her birthday. Aww. Hello. <gasps> Daddy. And I went back to my old life as a smuggler. The end. Wow, 
Jesse, that's the most incredible story ever told. My god, you have an amazing imagination. You should be a video game writer. You don't believe me. Not a word. Thank you very much, Miss Incredulous. Hey, who are those guys? Must be an improvised patrol. Don't say a word if they don't ask you anything. Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. Here you are. Very well. Let's see. Fuck. You're Jesse Fox. Uh, yeah. That's me. Holy Jesus. I can't believe it. Hey, Jimmy. Who is that guy? Fuck, Mike. He's Fox. Mike. The one who rescued Colonel Alan Harris and prevented the nuclear attacks. I really admire you, Mr. Fox. You're a fucking hero. Thanks, soldier. Here are your passports. Go, drive carefully. Are you okay? You've been very quiet. Stop the car. What's up? Then... It's true. It's all true. Now do you believe me? Kiss me. What? Kiss me now. Is the car gonna start rocking or something? I swear to God. <laughs> uh, hey, GG. Uh, that's uh, on metal. I'm waiting for the car to start rocking, I swear to God. We're gonna wait. Yeah, we'll wait and see what else happens. Uh, dude, super fun game. Uh, had a fantastic time. It's like a better game than you think it is, honestly. Like, it, it, if you were to describe this game, you'd be like, it's a Metal Gear Solid kind of shit post, like Metal Gear style game. Like, you would make, you would like, you know, oh, okay, it's gonna be whatever. It's actually like a better game than you think it is. The boss fights are fun. Uh, the story is amusing. It's enter It's very entertaining. Uh, definitely a solid recommend for me. This has been a this has been a really really fun time. It's been a really fun time. Awesome game. Give it up for uh, for Unmetal. Guys. Super fun. Yeah, very very fun. One of the funniest games. I think maybe towards the end, maybe it like stay overstays its welcome just like a little bit. You know, like towards the end, you do a lot of running back and forward and. Uh, some of the parts are a little more, a slightly more tedious, but it really, it's not that bad. It's, it's not like, oh, it's like all oh, frustrating. It's really not that bad. And I played on hard mode. So yeah, just a really, really, really fun game. Really well done. There's a, yeah, yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait till the whole thing. Well, I'm sure the, the credits are probably not that long, so it's probably not too long. But yeah, super fun. GG. These are all the, uh, okay. Creator pack guest voices. Okay, yeah. Oh, I got a, a lot. Okay, so these are all... Are these all the streamers that uh, did all the guest voices here? This game was all... Oh, yeah. Super, super fun. Can you play a cutscene in Spanish to hear the voice in Spanish? Are these all the streamers who, like... Uh, these are all the streamers who contributed their voices or something? Is that what this is? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Smokalog might be on here. Yeah, he might be on here. Yeah, I don't... I, I recognize some of these names. I recognize some of these names. Yeah, I think smoke would be on here too, right? I'm surprised how many of these I know. I'm so, I'm I don't recognize a lot of these actually. I definitely recognize recognize Carnage for sure. Uh, I don't recognize a lot of these. I, I this is the first time I played the game. Well, you have to turn on the cheat code for them, and then their voices will appear. It looks like it's just like a couple of voices that they did. Maybe I don't know if you can like how much you can really change the voices. Oh, I get Lobos did some too. <laughs> Lobos did some. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know fucking Lobos did some. Yeah, excessive is good. Uh, yeah, I wonder how many. It'd be kind of funny if you could, like, replace every voice in the game, but... What if you used all the streamer codes? I wonder, yeah, I kind of wonder. Hey, there he is. There's Smokalook. We turned Smokalook's voice on. We only heard him, like, a handful of times. Only a handful of times, so... Real name revealed. Smoke Loke's real name. Yeah, there it is. 
But yeah, this game was super, super enjoyable. Very fun. The TMR actually, dude, the TMR actually do some voices. That would be so funny. <laughs> oh, there are Spanish. Hang on, let me, uh, might be a lot. Let's go ahead and fast scroll down through this. Let's go quickly fast scroll. I wonder when this game came out, too. Like, how old is this game? Special thanks to you for playing Unmetal. All right, let's see. It seems like there's a post credit. Is this where uh, he gets invited to Smash? Hey, Jimmy, who the fuck is this Colonel Allen Harris? I don't know. Yesterday, I met that guy in a bar. He was nice. I told him that I was going to slog as a guard here today. And he said if I pretended he rescued the Colonel and prevented <laughs> nuclear attacks when he drove by, that he'd give me a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for saying four sentences. Can you believe it? Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. Here you are. <laughs> it's been the easiest 100 bucks ever. Fuck. People make up stupid shit just to score. Yeah, dude. So, wait, so everything was just stupid shit. The entire game was stupid shit he made up just to get laid. Is that it? <laughs> The whole game was just bullshit he made up so he could get lucky. That's it. Damn. That's a really elaborate way to get lucky. <laughs> really, really elaborate. Literally, everything was total bullshit. Right, right. Everything was bullshit. Can you blame him? No car rocking cheaper than buying dinner. It's hard out there. Leisure suit, Fox, Galaxy Brain. It costs, and it costs $100 too. There's no luck involved. What a Giga Chad. <laughs> That's some how I met your mother shit. Yeah, hey, GG.